friends, it's me. So today I know that I always usually talk about stuff that's getting really popular and whatnot, but I've been watching some Sailor Moon lately and watching clips and facts and all that stuff. And you know, it got me thinking about a certain plot point in season two and onward of Sailor Moon. And that is, is future Usagi a bad mom? Because I tend to get that vibes whenever I watch the, any of the two Sailor Moon incarnations. So I'm just gonna lay down my points as to why I think Usagi in the future is a bad mom. Is spoilers for season two and onward of Sailor Moon. So if you don't want to be spoiled then just don't watch the video. I mean you can't say I didn't warn you when it's literally in the video. So I'm going based off Sailor Moon Crystal. I have never in my life been able to finish the original 90s anime for some reason. I don't know I guess all those episodes just make me say no to it. Yeah so I'll be going based off the Crystal anime because that's you know more accurate to the manga and all that and I have never read the manga in my life and I don't think I'll ever plan to because because I really don't like the manga's art style, like, at all. It's just gross to me. I don't know why, I just don't like it. First point I want to make about Usagi being a bad mom is that she leaves her daughter to her own devices. And I know, you know, she's about eight or nine years old and she can be loud wherever the heck she wants in peaceful future Crystal Tokyo. But, like, she kind of just leaves the legendary silver crystal just, like, kind of there in a room where, like, anybody could grab it. And then she just lets her daughter just wander into a forbidden door to meet a forbidden sailor scout no one else is supposed to meet ever. And it's just like, really lady? And then you almost wonder, well gee, none of that stuff, like the silver crystal and everything, wouldn't have been stolen if she just watched her daughter or had a bodyguard with her daughter. I mean, she is the princess, someone should be watching her. I just think if your child is a princess in a kingdom and is next in line and you have a lot of stuff that could potentially ruin the entire planet, you know, maybe you shouldn't leave that line around and maybe you shouldn't let your daughter wander around the castle by herself. Before I start the third one, I would also like to apologize. I keep saying Usagi and not Neo Queen Serenity, but they're essentially the same person, just older. So, I mean, what's the point in saying their special king name? She never gives Chibiusa any kind of confidence whatsoever. Anytime we see someone from New Crystal Tokyo trying to give her confidence, it's always King Endemia. Either she's really bad at understanding her daughter, or she's just not around enough to care about her daughter's insecurities. But she never tells Chibusa anything about her past as far as I can tell. I know maybe in the manga it might be different. I don't think it is. But why does she always let her husband do it when she's the one who experienced it firsthand? Once again, I understand she must have been busy, but honestly, like, really, you couldn't, like, be a good mom and, like, say to your daughter, it's okay, you know, when I was your age, I was a crybaby too. I mean, that's, like, the cliche parent thing to do. You'd think she'd at least try try the cliche parent thing you instead of just letting her husband do it all. Now, when we see like flash forwards, I guess, of Usagi and Chibius in the future, we never see her quite acting motherly. You know, if anything, I feel like the 90s anime treated the whole motherly thing way better than Crystal did because at least they showed that Usagi could be a loving mom, may not be like around all the time, but at least she loved her daughter. But in Crystal, she just, it feels like she doesn't entirely like, she's too goddess-y, I don't know how to describe this, but she's too like higher being minded, like she doesn't care to spend time with her daughter anymore, but you know, Again, this could be something Crystal did. I don't know in the manga if she shows more affection, but considering I've been hearing that it's super accurate, probably not. She knows her past self is a better mother than she is. And while she never says it and never quite shows that, we can tell she does, considering she's like extremely trusting of Usagi to watch her daughter. I guess she just knows her past self will be more loving than she is. And it's a little sad though, because it shows that in the future maybe she's so broken from everything and so higher being-ish, I don't know how to describe this again, that she just doesn't have the capability of showing love anymore, which is kind of sad, but at the same time it kind of fits everything Usagi's going through. But 
anyway, I always thought that maybe she kind of, like, did that on purpose to, like, try and help herself in the future become a better mom. But, again, I don't entirely know because time travel hurts too much for me to think about what that could do to Usagi in the future. Everyone else is a better mother figure than Usagi is. Like, Sailor Pluto is, you know, making her smile and laugh with pretty flowers and saying she loves her, which is something see with Usagi so it just makes Pluto seem like she was the better mother figure to Chimusa than Usagi was which again is sad and so then in like season three of Crystal Chimusa says that Hotaru saving her felt like the embrace of her mom and we see like a comparison shot kind of of the two and that's kind of sad when a 14 year old girl has the same embrace but feels a little bit better than your mother and that's kind of sad to me. So how can Usagi save this and become I'm a better mom in the future and yes Sailor Moon is done but I'm not done with Sailor Moon stuff so I'm just gonna toss in a quick little couple of theories as to why Usagi might be a bad mom or just might not be a very loving mother. One of them is that she is incapable of showing love anymore because of everything she went through. If you think about it her friends all died like a ton of times. Her husband was constantly getting his ass handed to him and hurt and just all that stuff so that's sad. You got rude people constantly trying to take over the world and destroy it so of course all of that would likely affect her head so maybe when she became Neo Queen Serenity she just went into like goddess mode all of a sudden and just like stopped showing feelings for anything which is kind of sad but at the same time it kind of goes with that whole angst that Sailor Moon can have sometimes next theory okay I have not read the manga so my this theory I have if my theory is right you know in the manga not even there does Usagi show much affection for her daughter is that maybe the author just didn't know how to write motherly affection at the time so she just kind of like came up with an idea of how a goddess being would like be super loving and it didn't work very well because I do notice in the 90s anime Usagi in the future is a lot more loving to Chibiusa like we see in certain scenes like she would run up to her mom and mom would hug her and all that so it's hard to say whether it's just author can't write or Toei Animation just doesn't know how to do things but my theory is likely plausible I'm hoping much as I love and adore Sailor Moon it's probably one of my favorite animes of all time I can admit the author does not know how to write certain situations right for instance the entire second arc I feel is a huge glaring issue not many fans talk about because the time travel stuff just hurts so much. I would go into it, but this would probably be a really long video. And just understand when I say time travel hurts, and I don't understand why authors sometimes use the time travel method when it clearly never works out right. Yeah, that would be it. I just wanted to make this video because I've never seen anybody really point out Asagi's flaws other than when she was a crybaby the first two arcs. So other than that, like no one ever talks talks about any flaws she would have in the future, which is really weird, but you know, I guess most Sailor Moon fans don't really think about Usagi being a mom, they just think about Usagi bringing the world at peace, so... Yeah, so that would be it for today. If you want to see any more discussions of anime and whatnot, like I've done in this video and a couple of previous other ones, then just let me know in the comments and I will see if I can do it because if it's for an anime I don't like, I probably won't do it unless it's a rant on why I don't like that anime. So yeah, thanks for watching, bye!